Larry Kudlow on this show, top White House economist, says the economy is coming roaring back. His words. Anthony Chan is with us, former chief economist at Chase. Coming roaring back, the economy. Anthony, do you agree? I think that the uh, third quarter is going to give you a very strong number, uh, Stuart. I, I'm looking for a 20 percent uh, GDP number on an annualized uh, basis. Keep in mind that the Atlanta Federal Reserve, their model is now forecasting 25.6 percent growth. And research that I've done finds that that's one of the most accurate models of forecasting real GDP. So I'm really very optimistic about the third quarter. But I am still a little concerned about the fourth quarter because we really need a little bit more stimulus out there to help us out. We see a lot of factors out there that are helping. Residential real estate is coming back real strong in the third quarter. But remember, Stu, that is just 3.3% uh, uh, of the overall economy. Manufacturing is coming back and it's roaring, but that's only 11% of the economy. We still need other aspects of the economy to come back, and, and those uh, uh, factors are, are, are just a little bit uncertain for the fourth quarter. But right now, for the third quarter, Stuart, I am very optimistic. Okay, what would a Joe Biden win do to the economy? Not the markets. What would a Biden win do to the economy? Well, Stuart, when I look at uh, research that I've done looking at presidential election years, they're generally positive. In fact, during presidential election years, you get about an 11 percent rate of return. But one thing I do find, and that is that markets don't like a change in the political party. It doesn't matter, Stuart, whether it's, uh, it goes from Republican to Democrat or Democrat to Republican. The rate of return in the market uh, is almost four times greater when you keep the political party that's in, in power in the White House uh, in power and, and reelected. So if you see a change in political party, you should see that the equity market this year uh, historically has uh, not been as strong as if the same political party in the White House has stayed in power. Okay, got that. Anthony Chan, thanks for being with us this morning, Anthony. We'll see you again soon.